I'm going to show you how to troubleshoot and fix one of the most common and frustrating controller configuration issues in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024. I came across this problem while configuring my helicopter setup. This issue can occur with any aircraft and any controller. I just happen to be setting up controls for the Asobo Gimbal Cabri G2, one of the helicopters that comes with MSFS24. For helicopters, I remove my honeycomb alpha yoke and move the Bravo throttle to the center. That way I can use all of those buttons and the autopilot controls. I use two levers for throttle and mixture. I add the Thrustmaster TWCS throttle for use as a collective, the Thrustmaster T1600M flight control stick, and the Thrustmaster TFRP rudder pedals. You can check out all of those products through the Amazon links down in the description of this video. So my plan was to use this switch on the front of the Thrustmaster throttle to toggle the rotor clutch switch on and off. But look what happened. Here we are in the cockpit. This is the rotor clutch switch. I'm pressing the button on my controller to toggle it, but it won't turn on. It looks like it's trying to, and the light flickers occasionally. Let's see what happens if I close the cover and then hit the button. Whoa, that's kind of weird. That's an example of the strange controls behavior that you might see with the very common issue that I'm about to show you. Again, this can happen with any control on any controller in any aircraft. Let's go into settings and click the controls tab. When you see weird stuff like we just saw, quite often it's because there are multiple buttons and or controllers mapped to the same control in the simulator. Simple enough, but how can we figure out which controllers and buttons are mapped to that same control? Here's how I like to do it. First, confirm the name of the control that you're attempting to fix. To do that, click the controller that you're using. In my case, it's the Thrustmaster TWCS throttle. Then click Search by Input. Leave your mouse pointer there, and while it says Scanning over on the left side, press the button or move the controller that you have set for it. I'm pressing the button on my throttle. As you can see, it says Toggle Rotor Clutch Switch, so we need to determine if any other controls on any other controllers are also set to manipulate the rotor clutch switch. Here's how to do that. Start at the top of the controllers list. For me, that's mouse. Next, go down to the bottom and click filters so that it says assigned. Finally, go up to the search box and type the name of the control that you are troubleshooting. I'm going to type rotor clutch. As you can see from this view, we can know that nothing on the mouse is configured for the rotor clutch. Next, We'll click on keyboard. Aha! The C key on the keyboard is set to toggle the rotor clutch. I don't think that's what's causing the issue because I wasn't using my keyboard at the time, but it could really be a problem if I'm typing in Discord while I'm flying or something like that, so we'll delete it. That little number one there means that the C key is being used for one other control, probably in combination with the Alt or Control key. That doesn't matter here, but I wanted to explain what it was in case anyone wondered. To delete a control mapping, hover your mouse over it and just press the backspace key on your keyboard. Next is the Thrustmaster TWCS throttle, and we see the control set that I actually want to be here, so we'll leave that one alone. On to the Thrustmaster T1600M flight stick. Nothing here, excellent. Finally, Let's click on the Honeycomb Bravo Throttle Quadrant. Okay, I'm thinking this has to be the problem. Button 34 is mapped to Set Rotor Clutch Switch. We could simply delete it and see if the issue is resolved, but maybe we'd like to know which button that is to see if it makes sense. To do that, click the X to close the search. Wow, look at all those assigned buttons. This is the default Bravo Throttle Quadrant profile that comes with MSFS24. To see which buttons are which, click Search by Input, and then press a button or a switch or move a lever like we did earlier. It turns out that this switch on the Bravo is set to the rotor clutch switch, and it is in the off position. So every time I tried to toggle it on with the other switch, it immediately turned back off because of this switch, or at least tried to. Let's delete it. Again, hover over it and press the backspace key on your keyboard.
This is going to force us to create a new profile because the default profiles cannot be edited. No big deal. Just enter a name for your new profile. If you find more controls that you need to delete, you'll be able to just keep saving this new profile that you've created going forward. You can set it as the default for this aircraft. Now let's go back and try it again. Boom, perfect. I hope that helps you out. Please give it a like and subscribe if so, and let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. See you in the next one.